so speaking of the trios division, um, a lot of people would say, hey, well, you guys are quick to criticize, but what about this? What is it called? Trey DeMaio Battle Royale. So the 3rd of May Battle Royal. For some reason, Tony Khan thought of this Trey DeMaio Battle Royal where it's six man tagged. So it's trios is in oh a battle God. royal. So people will say, well, that was great for the division to flesh out the division and get, I would say completely the opposite. Um, shit, brother. Yeah. Bro. Okay. I guess like where I want to start, dude, is did we really have to use the television time to watch all of the entrances? Like we couldn't have like threw a commercial in there. I don't like dude, like just fucking like, I don't know, man. Like he doesn't understand like formatting. Or, That's what Eric uh, Bischoff says. He's just like, dude, this is where the show's the. He's like, it's not the work, it's not the talent. He's like, it's just the fundamental. The TV formatting makes no goddamn sense, you know. It's not right, dude. Like it's just not wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, <laughs> so let me read the teams here. We have um the ROH Tag Champions, the Lucha Bros. Uh, Penta and Phoenix, uh, along with El Hio del Vikingo. And I mean, I fuck with El Hio, but bro, that dream match shit was such a farce, dude, for AEW. Like, think about no one gives a fuck about him anymore already. It's not like Ooh. ROH is doing El Hio del Vikingo. He fought Kenny Omega. That, what did I skip this? El Hio watching. El Hio del Viking goes the guy who did the 630 out of the ring through the table on Kenny. The guy that almost broke his neck. Right. That everyone's like, oh, El Hio, it's the dream yeah. match. Well, no, a dream match is Bret Hart versus CM Punk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, legit. So, here, bro. Like, so they were saying I, I dream Mega versus some fucking luchador. I, dude, I like El Hio. You could go watch that same match at Triple A. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, yeah. right. Well, that's where they say they're like, well, no, it's a dream match in Mexico from Triple A. And I'm like, well, with all due respect, like, we're not in Mexico and this isn't Triple A. So I don't, you know, like, and I like, I like Triple A, man. Triple A, I fuck with it. Yeah, but, and I, I fucks like with, I fucks with El Hio, bro. But it's just like, come on. But, anyways, I love the Lucha Brothers. Um, um, Kip Sabian, the Butcher and the Blade come out. I was putting this faction over. Um, a couple weeks ago, their look, I like it, but let's face it, they get used. It's like the LWO. They just get used, put out there to do jobs. Then we had the Dark Order come out. Alex Reynolds, <laughs> Evil Uno, John Silver. I'm so over the Dark Order shit. We had the Varsity Athletes, Ari Davari, Josh Woods, and Tony Nice. I like these guys. The Acclaimed, yeah. Max Caster, Anthony Bowens, Daddy Ass. They're such money. And then QT Marshall, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Aaron Solo. Wow, awesome. Hobbs had to lose his TNT title to do this. Fuck. This match was a clusterfuck. Um, acclaimed are hard as fuck. Billy's some sort of physical fucking anomaly. Yeah, he is. And uh, just, Yeah, but you know what, dude? Honestly, I don't listen to Billy Gunn. I listen to Witcher Sword. <laughs> Dummy, yeah. Yeah, kid, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna get going. Uh, what I had to say about this match, bro, is basically what you said. A big cluster fuck, and give the fucking belts to the acclaim, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, dude. You guys have a real fucking like, dude. I don't know, man. Like, how doesn't Billy go, Gun go, guys? When we get out of this contract, I swear to God, I'll talk to Paul and we'll get right back over there and fucking, you know, I, you guys will be over and fucking. You know I'm gonna I'm tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why because. <clears throat> 